Hello, I'm Martin from Dreams on Tracks and today we talk about the best places in Africa to see wildlife while cycling. That's something I was really really curious about and really excited about when I thought about cycling in Africa is to see those big animals actually live in front of you while you're on a bicycle. Before we start it would be really helpful for us if you subscribe to our channel and if you give a like to this video. Let's start with Kenya. Kenya is full of national parks. In most of them it's forbidden to cycle. However, there is one really, really nice place to cycle through and that is around the Lake Naivasha. It's very close to Nairobi. Cycling around Lake Naivasha is very spectacular. It's free and it's really epic. Like we saw baboons, warthogs, all kind of antelopes, zebras, giraffes, None of the really dangerous animals like lion, but all kind of nice animals, really nice to look at and very safe. Number two is in Mauritania, it's the Diaveling National Park. It's close to the border with Senegal. Thanks to the Senegal River, there is a lot of wetland, a lot of animals like pelicans, flamingos and also animals like warthogs. Coming from the desert after 20-30 days of sand, it was very special to finally see water again, to smell water again. It was very relieving. And it was really nice to see all this life again. Cycling through was only $5 roughly. So it's very cheap and definitely worth it. And I would recommend it very much. let's go back to the big animals. In Uganda there is the Queen Elizabeth National Park, a really nice national park and it's allowed to cycle through the national park on two public roads. It's free, the longer road is a bit dangerous. We got charged by an elephant, so what you can see there for free is definitely elephants. There are a lot, we saw probably 20-25 elephants while cycling which was quite scary. And then there are buffaloes, there are antelopes, a lot of birds and theoretically lions as well. Number four is the Zambezi National Park in Zimbabwe. And let's also talk about the Victoria Falls National Park here. There were even war talks running through the city. It's a 10 minutes walk to the falls. So we were walking and then some locals that were walking in front of us turned around and told us, you should not walk there, it's dangerous. There are elephants on the road. So we were like, whoa, that sounds interesting. So we walked there, had a look and there were three, four elephants on the road and we were just observing them for a very long time. Eventually there was a local coming and he was clapping his hands 
and he was moving them away more or less from, from the road. But eventually when we left the Victoria Falls, uh, we cycled through the Zambezi National Park to the border with Botswana. It's like a one day cycle. There was a lot of elephant shit on the road. There were signs of a painted dog, but for a very long time we didn't see anything. And then eventually we saw three giraffes crossing the road behind us. It was really, really nice. We continue with number five and that is Botswana, the Elephant Highway. The cool thing about cycling through the Zambezi National Park is that it leads you directly to the Zimbabwe-Botswana border. After crossing into Botswana, we were not disappointed. There were right after the border warthogs, antelopes and three elephants crossing the road. And we knew now, now it's on, now it's game on. While cycling the Elephant Highway for five, six days, we saw animals every day. We saw a honey badger, we saw giraffes, zebras, elephants, kudus crossing the road, oryx. And it was very, very nice. We had to be very careful at night because there were lions around. places in Africa we know about. There is in the south of Tanzania a road through a national park, the Mitumi National Park, where you can see wildlife. There is a very nice road close to the South Luanga National Park in Zambia, where you can see wildlife for free, definitely a lot of elephants as well. And then there is also Namibia, which we did not cycle too much, but there are a lot of animals, a lot of wildlife. If you've cycled through Africa and if you've been to some places with really good wildlife while cycling, let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.